What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I am Sam Norris, owner operator of Progressive Lawn Service. I know I have quite a few new subscribers here on YouTube and I wanted to bring this video to you guys today because a while back I had actually mentioned, I think it was actually my first video, that I would take you guys through exactly what this is here on the front of my mower, this gray hitch. And I wanted to just kind of explain to you guys what I use it for and a couple of the potential uses that you guys would get out of it if you were to purchase this for your machine. So we'll go ahead and go over exactly what it is, how it works, what I use it for, and a couple of the many uses that it actually has and serves to make you do more with your machine. So let's go ahead and jump right into it, guys. Alright, so this is the front mount hitch made by a company called Detached Manufacturing. They are based out of New York. And essentially, this is their, I believe this is their medium sized unit for the front casters of a zero turn mower, whether it be stand on or sit down. It really doesn't matter. And that brings me to the first point that I want to bring up, which is... The width between your front casters determines which model you actually need. This is their larger one because the casters are so, the caster arms I should say, are so far apart here on the front of my machine. This is the, it's either the medium or the larger one, I can't really remember, but they make smaller ones than this and they make one that's I believe slightly larger. Now, you are given some room for play right here with this piece. What you would do when installing is either pick one side, but install one, don't tighten it down all the way on one end of your caster arm. And then you wanna unloosen this screw. And this actually right here can slide out or back in to accommodate for the width of your front casters. As you can see here, I have it set up for this one. It actually can, this is where I first had it. I believe this is how it uh, shipped if I can remember correctly, but the screw was right here holding this in place so this this doesn't move at all so that really is all that does is it locks that down and allows you to have a secure mounting position for whatever you're going to mount on the front of this hitch and what you want to do after you purchase this it's actually a two-piece unit this piece and then this piece the actual hitch part you want the hitch to be as centered obviously as you can get it and if you see here this mounting plate gives you the option to either bring the hitch up or down a little bit further i have this pretty much sitting exactly level for what i use it for which we'll get to here in a second but you have quite a bit of play here to adjust this up or down and we'll go ahead and look at the back as you can see the back it's just uh four carriage bolts that's actually what the end pieces are too the bottoms are carriage bolts on here and the other side and this as you can see here you got quite a bit of play depending on the width here of your actual caster arms whether it be uh, this way or the depth of them as well you've got a good good little bit of play there these are pretty thick caster arms I know some manufacturers are might be a little bit smaller or so you would have more of this this bolt exposed there but 
this gives you quite a bit of play this whole plate here can move up and down just depending like I said on the thickness of this caster arm and it's the same thing obviously on the other side and you do want to make sure when you're mounting this that you give yourself enough clearance for your front casters to actually turn and not completely defeat the purpose of uh, having this hitch on the front so let's go ahead and jump into what exactly I use this hitch for So this is exactly what I use, the front mount hitch made by Detach for my Kubota. This is the Cartmate Pro by Dawson Manufacturing out of Glen Burnie, Maryland. This is a monster of a cart, more so an incredibly beefed up version of what you would find at a big box retail store. This thing can hold, I believe close to a thousand pounds in that tub um, it is extremely strong we'll get we'll lift it up here in a second but it dumps dumps to the front we'll go ahead and go over that here in a second but I just want to show you guys the awesome engineering that goes in right here this is the knuckle of the system this allows this entire cart here on the front everything from that bolt right there forward to articulate in quite a few different directions more so than you could probably imagine just from watching this video if you guys have seen a couple of my other ones i think i have some footage in there of me using this i can't really remember but essentially what this does if we look down here as you can see this pin right here that goes that has this bolt going through it which is this bolt right here this allows this to articulate this way that way that way whichever whichever way you can really imagine it's not really going to go past here this allows it to stop if it go if it were to go past any further than that it would probably be pretty dangerous because at that point you'd be risking having the whole thing flip over on you but that allows it to do all that and as you can see right here you've got this pin you pull this pin i usually just keep mine right there but you have that pin pulled now, if you were to roll up onto a job with this thing full of either mulch, topsoil, rocks, dirt, sand, uh, plants that you need to move or plants that you've yanked out and you're just taking them somewhere to dump, you would pull that pin and then you just dump it. Those front casters, they actually swing out. I have them in the outward position right now, but you can fold them in. And if you fold them in, you can't dump the cart, but if you have them folded in, it's more or less just for sliding through a 36 inch gate. With those forward, the dump cart down, this will fit through a 36 inch gate. That's the, the genius behind it, really. Obviously, my machine's not gonna fit through a 36 inch gate. It's a 60 inch deck. But if you were to have this on a commercial 32 inch machine, you could fly through a gate. You wouldn't be pushing a wheelbarrow be killing your back this thing really has saved my back i have two herniated discs in my lower back and if i agitate them i'm down for the count for a couple days um the really cool thing about this is this this is the spine of the machine this is a extremely dense piece of metal i can't remember how thick it is exactly i want to say probably eighth inch maybe a little bit thicker but 
this is what's going to give you all the rigidity in the center this allows you to carry all that weight and as you can see it's the same all the way around so we'll go ahead we'll put this back down just like that now as i showed you a second ago we'll go ahead and set the camera down and i'll show you guys how you can actually take these legs pull the pin that's on the bottom there and slide them in and lock them into place and you can put it in transport mode so you just get up under here i don't know if you can see my hand or not but there's a pin you pull down push forward now that wheel is locked into place it's not going to go anywhere you just do the same thing to the other side grab the pin pull down on it grab right here push forward now it's locked into place and it's not going to go anywhere we'll walk around here to the front so you guys can check this out and see what i mean the entire width of that tub right there is 36 inches so obviously if you're going forward those wheels are going to be straight and you will be able to clear through a 32 inch gate or 36 inch gate i'm sorry so that's just a quick overview of the cart mate there now i know what some of you are probably thinking is well what if what if i have this and i need to put a bunch of mowers on my trailer or i need to take this with me and i need to use multiple other mowers and i don't want to take up the footprint of this because as you can see this sticks out pretty far from the machine it's almost like having another mower sitting directly in front of it well let's go ahead and take a look at how that problem exactly was solved and we'll show you guys how this does not take up any more footprint on your trailer all right so as you can see here got this big pin that's kind of sticking right through here this is just where i happen to store it this time but these two holes right here through the top we'll go ahead and show you all how you can put this thing into an even more condensed transport mode if you want to take your pin just make sure you have it handy so you can grab it a little bit quicker i usually just take it and stuff it into my pocket here but what we're going to do is we're going to be taking the cart and flipping it up and then we're going to lock it into place and show you exactly how it locks one thing i do want to note and i almost just did it make sure you take your pin and lock the actual cart to that spine there that way it doesn't open up on you when you go to grab it and we'll lift from the front and we'll show you guys what it does So like I said, now you've got it up in place. You want to take your pin, simply slide it through there. And now it's locked into place. You have the cart mate in the upright transport mode. As you can see there, she's sitting straight up in the air. Now, I want to say there's about, I would say no more than about a foot and a half this cart actually sticks out in the front so if you have a trailer let's say you have a i don't know 16 foot enclosed trailer like the one that's standing right behind me i could take this flip this up there's plenty of room for this to ride up into my trailer just like that and i could put another machine or two behind it if i had to that's that's the awesomeness of it it, it doesn't take up any more space on your setup other than obviously that little foot and a half there that sticks out on front so you can drive down the road like this if you have an open trailer as well and it does not i know there's a couple guys actually on uh, instagram and youtube that have an open trailer and they run their cart mates like this they have multiple mowers with the cart mate set up on front of it and a machine or two in front or behind so this thing really does not take up much more room on your setup so that's just a quick overview of the cart mate and the detach hitch that it hooks onto. So that was just a quick overview on the front mount hitch and what exactly I use it for. Now, I did want to mention that this front mount hitch, the gray piece right there, that has way more uses and applications than just this cart mate. The company that actually manufactures the hitch, they also manufacture all kinds of different tools and devices that will allow you guys to do more with your mower 
If you don't want to go out and spend 12 grand on a stand-on aerator, they actually now make a device that hooks up right to the front of your mower, and it's an actual aerator that applies pressure downward just like a stand or, or a ride-on aerator would do. Uh, that's one of their newer products. They also make that leaf plow. They make the uh, dethatcher, the carry barrel transport, which cart mates kind of like that, but on steroids. So if you guys are interested, I'm going to go throw the description or the link to all of these products in the description below the cart mate as well as the hitch. And if you guys go on to Detach's website, you'll see all the different things that they make for that hitch specifically. And it really, like I said, doesn't matter what machine you're running. They, they can make and outfit a hitch for your machine and they're really responsive so they want you guys to succeed they'll help you get fitted with whatever you need for the front of your machine so like i said in the beginning of the video guys thank you for tuning in i really appreciate it i just wanted to show you guys what exactly i use this for and how i do more with my mower than just cut grass with it so if you guys enjoyed this video hit that thumbs up button hit that subscribe i really appreciate it thank you and stay tuned for the next one y'all stay safe see ya